unlike uh, public water sources, which are tested regularly, nobody is coming to our door as a private well owner and telling us it's time to test. It's our responsibility as private well owners to have our water tested regularly to help ensure the quality of our drinking water. So having an annual test for some uh, very common contaminants like bacteria, nitrates, and sodium and is very important. Volatile organic compounds uh, are the things that are the constituents of the gasoline, and uh, that, that's what we get. We find when we, when we test. So benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, xylenes, uh, MTBE. These are the kinds of things, the levels of things that we're looking for uh, to determine whether or not a gasoline impact uh, to the aquifer has occurred. There's other kinds of all organic compounds, cleaning solvents, things that they clean machine parts with. Uh, sometimes those are, have been disposed of historically in places uh, and they've gotten down into the rock and they, they can be uh, um, uh, still there even though they were disposed of 25 years ago, still in, still in the water today. Uh, and so it would be important to know whether or not your well is being impacted by something from history. So I suggest you test for VOCs every five years, whether you're near a service station or not. Basically, if you own a car, have a lawnmower, probably ought to test for VOCs if you have a private well. In addition, there may be special circumstances that require testing. They see a sudden change in the water quality, then they certainly should test right away. They see the water get murky or, 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 or cloudy, uh, the water tastes funny or smells funny, that should tell them there's something's going wrong uh, with the water quality and they should try to find out what that is. And we're here to advise them if they, if they, if they're, if they have those concerns. One of, the, one of the misperceptions out there is that uh, water from a well is free. Um, you should really be testing your water. You should be treating your water. You should actually think about if I were to spend $600 for public water maybe I should be spending about $600 a year on my private well too, just to make sure that the water quality is adequate. Some, some years you're gonna be able to get off with a lot less than $600. Just the testing might be $100, $150. Uh, it could even be less depending on how, you, how good your water quality is. But it's important to make sure that you do spend some money and that you, don't, you recognize that, that it's, a, it's a valuable resource and it's probably one of the most important resources uh, that you have at your house is your, is your water resource. It's important that you have your drinking water tested at a state certified laboratory. These labs are certified by the state to test drinking water. Once you receive the test results, there is assistance available to help you understand them. Certainly you, you can call the Department of Health. Uh, we'd be glad to discuss what your results are and wh what, the, what the significance of them are. So, so if you find that the one level of something is elevated um, we can tell you whether or not that's really important for your health or not, uh, but also what you can do to, to treat the water uh, so you can change that.